Alright you guys, so my husband kind of got all the sweatshirts that I need to make for the day ready for me and he put each label between so I could know what to make on each sweatshirt because my stuff are um, made to order. I like to clean up, make sure everything's in place. If I have any um, customized designs, I like to do those. Previously had a P800. It was my favorite machine. It was the cutest little thing. It was obviously what I could afford at the time. I definitely regret getting rid of it, but I actually made a lot of shirts on it and I sold a lot of products with it. So unfortunately I had to sell it on Facebook Marketplace, but it's the one that definitely helped me save up for a multi-needle machine, which my first one was a six needle, and then I ended up getting another 10 needle, and then et cetera, another 10 needle, another six needle, another 10 needle, another six needle, and that's how I kind of grew my business. And it definitely did not happen overnight, so it was something that I had to build on, and I was like at first getting 10 orders a day, which 10 orders a day on a little PE 100 is actually a lot. Um, they're slower than these machines. These machines go 10, about uh, one, 1,000 um, stitches per minute, and that one goes 600, and versus these are 10 needles, 6 needles, and obviously there's a lot more colors, so I don't have to change the color, versus that one where it's one, you have to switch it, one, and switch it, and um, it depends on who digitized the design, sometimes it can go like black, white, black, white, black, white, which is really annoying, and throughout my embroidery journey, I did spend a lot of money on digital design, and some of them actually really suck to be honest with you. So that's when I decided to purchase Hatch software. It was a big investment for me, honestly, at the time. I'm glad I bought it. So I ended up opening an Etsy for digital designs and I ended up selling designs over there. Um, it's at the label Co. And it's pretty successful. So yeah, here on my YouTube channel, obviously, I am teaching you guys how to do those designs and I'm showing you guys vlogs and how to do embroidery stuff. But disclaimer here, I am not a professional. So I kind of just touch you guys what I know. So for all you gurus that do the anime stuff, this will come to me. Everything is done and except for that machine. So I'm just waiting on that so I can take out everything in package. And depending on what's going on, um, if I have time, I do like the package as I'm working, but that's not always the case. And nowadays I don't have much borders. So what I do is I put everything on the machines and then I work in the basement of my home. So I'll go upstairs if there's any chores or anything I have to do, I'll do it. And then I'll come back and I'll find that either they're done or either one stop and I'll fix it. Um, but it's really nice that you can just put the shirts on and just leave. I like, I like having to do that. And I love working in the basement of my house. It's great.
recording a TikTok of this real quick. All right, everybody, that's pretty much it. So that's basically what I do every day. I put on the sweaters, I make them, package them, take them to the post office. I like to clean my studio um, before leaving. So like you guys saw, I like to take out the trash, clean the floors, and about once a month, I like to move these machines forward and clean the walls and all that fun stuff. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. That'll mean the world to me. And let us know down below what you guys wanna see next. Thank you.